Hello everyone, welcome to Tea and Banta with me. It's me, Mary Elizabeth. And Felicia. So, um, we have a I have a couple of things I wanted to talk about today. Um, and one is, first I need to take off this sweatshirt. I'm hot, sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, I was sitting the other day wondering, sorry, um, what got me into mysteries? Ooh. Like, I just, really the only two genres, um, and I've said this previously that I really read, is mystery and romance, and mainly mystery. Mm -hmm. Like, I cannot get enough of mysteries. And I just was thinking the other day, where did that come from? How did that come about? And so, believe it or not, sitting there it dawned on me I realized it started when I was uh, I was three or four years old really believe it or not yes I would got exposed to Scooby-Doo and that come out in 1969 and for the record I was born in 1966 so um, I was three years old when it came out, but I don't remember if I started it at three years old or if I was four. So around that time, and I can remember sitting at the end because the TV was in my mother's room. And I can remember sitting at the end of the bed and this come on. And I just was, was mesmerized by it. Um, and I just thought it was the coolest thing these kids teenagers going out and problem solving i mean let's just let's just say it now scooby-doo a dog hello and he could talk yeah that was awesome of course i'm sure that was the main event at the time but i just loved um the solving of the mystery mm -hmm. and to this day i will still watch scooby-doo yep i will still watch scooby-doo there's been a ton of remakes um, mm -hmm. some of them I don't, I haven't cared for, but a lot of them I have. However, in my defense, as a grown ass woman watching Scooby-Doo, one of my favorite all time television shows, which is not technically a mystery supernatural. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite episodes of supernatural is a Scooby-Doo yes. episode. If you haven't seen it, if you don't really like Supernatural, that's okay. This one episode, it's where they become cartoons and join the Scooby gang and solving a mystery. It's the it's best one episode. Of, yeah. It's one of my favorite don't episodes. Don't get I love that show, but I, out of all the episodes, that's my favorite. Yeah. I love it. I love Scooby-Doo and they blend. It proves Supernatural can actually be a cartoon. Well, I was going to say that too. That was, yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. No, no. Um, I think they could be like a Scooby-Doo yeah. um, cartoon would or work. team up with the Scooby-Doo gang. And yeah, it does work. So, um, so but it just shows that Scooby-Doo it was is it's very iconic. popular. Um, it is iconic. Mm -hmm. And um, so if you've never watched Scooby-Doo, give it a try. Just yeah. watch one or two episodes and you can just see that mystery and mystery solving is just... I mean, it goes back to all that time of really wanting to solve mysteries and, mm -hmm. and liking solving the mysteries and the puzzles and all of that. So, um, yeah. So then, of course, in, I'm going to go in order here because, and then in 1985, and I know there's been other things before that, but these are the ones that have stood out. Yes. Um, and stood the test of time for me so far um mm -hmm. and that was clue yeah clue is another one um growing up i played the clue game mm -hmm. and as a matter of fact what i should have done is turned you around and kind of showed you all my clue games <laughs> including a scooby-doo clue game that i have <laughs> um but i have supernatural clue scooby-doo we have the Golden Girls Clue. Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory. Two Harry Potter ones. Two Harry Potters and a regular clue. So yeah. that's just the game. A Master Clue. 
what it was, oh, and a Naruto Your clue. clue. <laughs> I can't forget Naruto for my grandson. That is manga. <laughs> if you like manga or the anime television show, so, um, Naruto. But that is not mystery. Let's clarify that. I have a Legends of Zelda clue, by the way. We won't even get into that right now, but because we're on mystery right now. <laughs> no, I'm so, just saying. Let's not, let's, let's not start out curbing. Um, <laughs> So yeah, so growing up, I would play those games, and then out came the Clue movie. Over the moon. Over the moon. Mm -hmm. um, they did a fantastic job. Um, Tim Curry was brilliant. He was amazing throughout that whole movie. So funny. The, oh, my God. I don't know how he did it with however, the straight face. However, no. No, no, no. The number one character in the Clue movie, who is it? Mrs. White. Madeline Kahn. Mm -hmm. All I can remember is... I know what you're going to say. <laughs> Which one? The, say it. the flames. The flames. The flames. But what about the husband? The husband that was the magician. He was oh, an illusionist. He was an illusionist. Yeah, but he never reappeared. Well, that... He wasn't very good illusionist. Yes, because, you know, she, pro she killed him. Right? <laughs> yeah, she killed both of them. But she was the only one that was literally a killer that walked into that house. Yes. So, anyway, <laughs> awesome movie. I, I watch it over and over again. And, yes. Um, I liked that at the end they gave you, before they gave you the true ending, ending they gave you options, just like the, the game. game. So, I, if you haven't seen that. Please I, see it. I say watch it. It's a classic. It's a classic. It's it's one of my all time faves, and yeah, that's it's a, one film I can watch and not get bored. Yes, yes, I could watch that over and over. Young Frankenstein. I don't get bored. Yes, yeah. Well, I have a, quite a few of those, but um, but in terms of mystery, Clue is right yes. up there. And then um, I have, if you're not familiar, so. Majority of my reading mysteries um, is usually English mm -hmm. writers, I would say. Yeah. Um, and that is because I think they have the niche and talent for it. They do. Um, and there also is, and now I have a favorite Scottish mystery writer, <laughs> um, which is wonderful, and she's a woman, Yvonne Vincent, The Losers Club. I'm going to keep singing her praise. Read it, read it, read it. Um, and it is on Audible. I forget who narrates it, but they do a fantastic job. Um, so anyway, so for, but I do have an American writer um, that does a mystery series that I absolutely love, um, and that is Rex Stout, who did, who does the Nero Wolf, or who did the Nero Wolf series, um, mm -hmm. and I love this cover. So, if you're not familiar with Nero Wolf, Nero Wolf is, um, I don't know if you can tell from the cover, but he's quite a large man, and he um, does not like to leave his home. So he has Archie, um, who's like his Watson, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. And he is the one who goes out and does all the running around and basically does what Nero needs him to do and brings all the inf information back to Nero. And um, Nero is then able to solve the cases. And um, Nero is... He's comical, he is in, comical. The, in the sense of seeing him with his chef. He, he loves his food. He is very meticulous about his food. Um, you can't change it a little, even a little bit. He's very meticulous about his, just everything. It has to be his way. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he does, his passion is orchids. Yes. Yes, orchids. And he will spend all his money on orchids mm -hmm. and food. Um, and so Archie is the one who keeps telling him we have to take cases in order to put money Survive. back from the bank and do all of that. And he does it begrudgingly <laughs> um, a lot of the times. And so he seems gruff and he seems callous, but he really does have a heart of gold. Mm -hmm. um, he also has a, a team of guys who he pulls in every now and again um to help and is it gus 
Is that who? Um, There's one that's my favorite. He's just, I he's a really Saul. tough guy, Saul? but Saul. He's really a tough guy, um, but he, he admires yeah, Wolf. Wolf. And uh, yeah, it's just, they're great characters. Great characters, great mysteries. I absolutely love them. And then I was very excited because in 2001, um, Narrow Wolf came out as a, a TV show, although I think they were longer episodes. Mm -hmm. um, I think they were like an almost like like many movies. Yeah. TV um, movies. So, but on so it had Maury Shulkin. I can't say his name, name right. correctly, but um, he was Narrow Wolf yep. and Timothy Hutton. Hello, um, Archie. was Archie. And it is, it was and is one of my favorite shows. Sadly, it did not stay on mm -hmm. because the network wanted to do reality TV instead. Yep. Which I still don't get to Broke my heart. But... Broke my heart. Um, because it had high ratings. It was a great story. Mm -hmm. um, I, it To me, it could have went on seasons and seasons. Yep. So I still continuously um, rewatch them. In fact, my daughter, Felicia, bought me the series for Christmas. Your birthday. My birthday. Two um, years ago. It was our last gift she opened up. Yes. And I absolutely love it and treasure it. You can watch them on YouTube for free. Um, and they mostly are good. Uh, yeah. You know, there's some kind of sometimes little blips in the music. You might not hear or it at the talking. beginning or they're talking a little bit, but overall you can watch them. Yeah. Um, but I was lucky enough to get the DVDs and spectacular. I wish, um, I don't, unfortunately, I don't think Maury who played Nero is alive yeah. still, sadly. Um, but if that could ever come back on or, you know, and, and I would want Timothy Hutton back as That's Archie, right. uh, I would just love that to come back on. I think it's who would be a timeless. Nero? I don't know who would be Nero, um, but if they did it like they did before, it would be fabulous. And and it's a tragedy that to me it was a tragedy that was taken off. Yep. But like I said, they're kind of movie length, so you do get a good chunk um, to kind of get exposed to Nero. Well, if you haven't read it and you want to give it a try before yeah. you pick up the book. Naturally, the book is always has more, mm -hmm. uh, um, maybe a little different. And nine times out of ten, the book is always better. Yeah. But that series was amazing, phenomenal. Can't can't recommend it enough. Uh, so that was number three. Number four, another to my heart, G.K. Test. Chesterton, um, the Father Brown series. Um, and this is his collection, the complete collection of the Father Brown series. So um, this is a chunk of, but don't let that deter you because there's more stories in here. And in fact, in this Nero Wolf, there are actually two books and one in this. So it looks uh -huh. like a chunker, but again, it's two books, not one. Um, so just so you know, you can buy them like this or you can buy them individual. So I'm going to go back to Nero for one minute only because in stating the book, um, originally I did not realize this was two books in one, but I ended up getting this one because I loved the cover and yeah. I don't know about anybody else, but sometimes the cover is what sells to me. Yeah. And you know, this is so narrow that... I ended up getting this one, but it's again, in an orchid, right? it has two books. It has Fur de Lance and the League of the Frightened Men, and he is holding his orchid, and he is in his big, it's, I would call it gold or yellow chair. Yeah. Is it like a gold chair? Yes, which, can I just tell you? It I looks want, comfy. I want his chair. Yeah. I want his, I want his, his whole office. Yes. It's beautiful. Anyway, I digress. So, I got to get back to my father, Brown. <laughs> Woohoo. I need a sip of tea. <laughs> <laughs> May not get much education, 
on this channel, but you will get enthusiasm. And <laughs> my lot of enthusiasm. <laughs> so, um, so my Father Brown series is another series that I love. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend giving it a try. Again, um, don't be put off on this size. Um, this is the complete works. Um, so I think they do sell them individually. I'm not sure. Um, and oftentimes I do like the individual better. Mm -hmm. Um, because it, I do like a floppier book. Yeah. Um, but at the time, I don't even know where I bought this, but at the time, this is what I had. So anyway, <sighs> whoever here has not watched Harry Potter, shame on you. Um, but Arthur Weasley, what's, yes. his, what's his name? Oh God. What's his name? Arthur Weasley. Arthur Weasley. What's his name? Look at him. He up, wouldn't please. know. He's going to Google it for me. Um, That's my grandson. I should know. We have him in the background. Just, you know, he's kind of our director and information person right now. So I'm looking for Arthur Weasley's name. What is his name? He, he actually stars on another show that I love. That's a comedy that's open, still open all hours. Where is he going? <laughs> He's leaving me. Anyway, <laughs> I'll get you the name. But um, Arthur Weasley from Harry Potter. Now, in 2013, um, started a TV sh series called, on the BBC, mm -hmm. called, guess what? Father Brown. And it is now in its 11th. Is it 10th or 11th season? Uh, I think it's on its 13th. It's going oh, on its my God. Highly, highly recommend it. He does a fabulous job as Father Brown. The um, cast of characters that come in, come in and out. Oh, okay. Father Brown. Where is he? Uh, that's not him, is it? No. That's him right there. Yeah, but that's not saying his name. That's saying Rupert's. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. We're, we're looking it up for you. Anyway. He stars as Father Brown, um, and he is a priest, I naturally, in a Catholic church, and he has a cast of characters, and of course, the police are not happy that he is amateur sleuthing or interfering, so, um, but that does not stop him and his group of colleagues what's his name mark williams mark williams all i had to do was type in cast father brown i don't know why he just didn't do that <laughs> because i asked harry potter that's why i wasn't thinking it's okay he did his best what is arthur weasley's name <laughs> arthur weasley <laughs> my kid google that <laughs> so anyway i love my boy <laughs> i highly recommend it it's again another show i would watch over and over uh. again um so there's that one and then um, on one of the Father Brown episodes, um, and I don't know what season, but there was a mystery <laughs> that involved a convent and one of the nuns, Sister Boniface was on it and she decided she's very sciencey, mm -hmm. um, and decided that she was going to help Father Brown. And she was reading Agatha Christie's sparkling cyanide, sparkling cyanide on it and so she decided that she wanted to be a sleuth like her and she was helping father brown and it it's one of my favorite episodes yep. um and so funnily funny funnily that's not even a word funny, funny enough me. funny enough in 2022 there came a bb show sister boniface and so now she has her own series and it is great mm -hmm. i think you'll like this one as well um she is i think she is more sciencey so yeah. where father brown um is more sleuthing mm -hmm. um and gathering information and and you know listening um and talking to people and all of that sister boniface is the science person she's the one it's some, sort of like is it forensic science yeah, um, where she's something. taking evidence and she's, you know, looking at it and yeah. doing her daubers and her, you know, microscope and all of that. So it's a different take on a mystery, but it's in Sister Boniface, 
works collaboratively with the police. Mm -hmm. um, they get along great. We're Father Brown and the police don't always work together yeah. so well. Um, but again, great, great shows. Um, so my last one is not based on a book that I'm aware of. However, <laughs> love it. Yes. And it is called Only Murders in the Building. And it's number five. And it came out in 2021. That stars um, Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez as your main amateur sleuths. It is funny as get out. Um, the mysteries are great. They are great. They have a lot of famous guest stars. They've had um, Meryl Streep. They've had Sting. Sting. They've had Paul Rudd. Actually, Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd is one of the vic was one of the victims. They've had Shirley um, McLean. Shirley McLean. Jane Jane Lynch? Yeah. Is that her name? Jane yeah. Lynch. As Jane Lynch as um Steve Martin's double. double. <laughs> um so they've had a great cast of guests. Yeah. Um, oh, and Nathan Lane. How did I forget Nathan oh, Lane? And Nathan Lane, who is a reoccurring character. Excellent job. The one other thing that I love mm -hmm. about Only Murders in the Building is one of I would say semi-regular, at least up to this point, yep. um, is a gentleman, and I don't know his name, so forgive me, but he is hearing impaired, mm -hmm. and he does a lot of sign language. I don't, I love sign language. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's just appealing to me. I love it. I wish I was able um, to do it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm learning little by little. I use my hands a lot, as you can see. So I should be able to learn it, you would think. think. I have some words, and I'm still working on it. But I just love to see it. Uh, and actually, as a side note, away from mysteries, one of the great movies, um, if you haven't seen it, it is an older movie. I don't know when it came out, and it stars... Oh, God, what is her name? It, her last name is Maitland. Um, it's called Voices, I believe. And it is about a hearing impaired dancer who her dream is to be a famous dancer. It is a love story, too. Um, and um, but it's all about her trying to be a dancer. But if she can't feel the music, she can't dance. And she fails her, audi her auditions because she can't feel the music. It's just, it's a phenomenal movie. Um, and there's so far and few with hearing impaired that I just thought I'd throw that out there. If you haven't seen it, I think you'll love it. It's not a mystery, um, but watch it. I think you will really like it. So anyway, that's a movie I remember. So seeing a hearing impaired um, doing sign language in a mystery series is just phenomenal. Um, I think they do a wonderful job with it. He's a great actor. Um, and he actually was a um, murder suspect mm -hmm. um, in the first season. I think it carried over into the second. But And I apparently, I apparently, you know what I'm going to say to this, right? Oh, yeah. We I, found a male version of my mother. I apparently have a male version of me, and oh, that no. is Martin Short. <laughs> yes, so I, I was informed of this, but... You have many people. Love him to death. So, again, if you haven't seen Only Murders in the Building, watch it. It's great. The cop. I, I love her. I don't know what her name is. She just won an Oscar. Yes, she did. For that? No, no for no, something else. For a movie she did. Yes. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve it. I don't care. I, I love her. And only murders in the building. She is hysterical. I adore her. And she has to put up with these guys. <laughs> and the way she deals with them is just, she is a great actress. She's and whatever phenomenal. she got an Oscar for, she, she deserves it. Yes. I don't mean to put that aside. It's just that I love her so much. Yes. In the and I feel like she should be in it more. Yes, and hopefully she will be. I hope. I hope so. I mean, maybe she wasn't because whatever movie she was she doing, was doing um, limited her access to the show. But 
They need more of her. I'm just saying. They need more of her. Yeah, I absolutely adore her. Yes. Um, Love her. If you saw my last video, you will see that I am still struggling to get pictures interwoven into the videos you know my books into the videos i have the pictures of the books the pictures are fine um i've tried resizing them i don't know I, and i follow the directions to overlay them and it the whole picture does not come out so i haven't even attempted to put pictures of these shows these movies in the video um so i apologize for that it is something i'm going to continue to try to work on yeah, um, we're both doing it together. As we go along. So hopefully, again, I usually just, you know, film because I'm not <laughs> tech savvy. Um, Me either. You know, I just, when I started this channel, I did it to meet like-minded community and have fun and, you know, talk to someone because, you, you know, I, some people might get it, but in my home, um, really Felicia is the only one who has similar mm -hmm. taste than me, except for crochet. She doesn't do that, but so it's, you know, and, um, a quick little story. When I was working for many years, I worked in, um, early childhood and I was a manager. And one day we were in uh, what we called our conference room. People ate lunch in there and everyone was talking about the books they were reading. And a lot of them are, are great books, but they're all um, nonfiction and they're talking about politics and things like that. And they asked me what I was reading. And at the time, I don't remember what I was reading, but I said it and they all just looked at me like I had 12 heads. <laughs> and so then I knew then that, okay, there's no one here that likes what I like. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I read for fun. I read for escapism. Again, I started out with Scooby-Doo. There's no, there's no changing me now. Yeah. I'm not getting away from that. So it is what it is. Um, I'm educated. I, I worked, I, you know, but it's just what I like. And so, yeah, so there wasn't a match. So I thought, okay, maybe someone out there will get where I'm coming from. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, that's my spiel on, um, you know, mystery shows, movies that you might enjoy um, to go with if you're a mystery reading lover like me. Um, so I'm going to end with that. However, we need to address the elephant in the room. And that is... Over the past couple of videos, I've been sharing to you what I've read, what I've completed. I've showed you my book journal and all of that. Um, you know what? I'm having a strawberry. I think this calls for a strawberry because it's about to get ugly in here, just so you're all aware. Hmm. Want one? No, thank you. I love the banana though. Yeah. So Look at that. the past couple of weeks I've been sharing my books of what I've read, showing you my journal, uh, my reading journal of what I've completed. I am behind on making my squares, so I need to get on the ball with that, my crocheted squares. But each video, we've been asking Miss Tish here where she's at. She's been on the same book, annotating. Now, several problems with this is that I think Felicia's carried away with annotating. And I think we're going to need to watch some videos about annotating because I think she's just annotated every page and every sentence. I don't no, know. I'm not. I don't know. But it has been going on since January. And it is now May what? 26th. May 26th. Can you tell us where you're at? Have you completed the book and move on to others? I've read two others in between. What are they and where are they to share with the group? Oh, those two books are in my room on my shelf. But I finished the third and fourth in Ola Holmes. So I'm on the last two of that. Okay. And this book that you've been on since January? Now I'm officially... Almost done. I'm gonna You're halfway. Yeah, that's not that can, much. Can I see that? Can, can I, you not? No, I want to show them. Oh my God. 
She is only halfway. That's nothing. Since January. Cause, however. Cause, but I'll be able to get further tomorrow because it's a holiday at work. can you see all the tabs? I don't, can I you, don't, can I don't you like that this. A this, closer? Is, this is very judgmental. Can you see all those tabs? Oh, my God. Sweet baby Jesus. I'm enjoying the She anthony. is enjoying it. I'm so, not saying she's really? not. Because I feel like there's, this is hate. It's not hate, honey. It's not then hate. Then what is this? It's such. <laughs> Listen, I can't. No, we're going to stop people. here. We're going to stop I... here, Will. What do you need to do? Oh. That, yes. Yes. This is me. Oh, my God. Are you done with the book? That's it. If you don't know who that is, that's Steve Carell. Carell from The Office screaming no. And that's what I've been doing every time I ask her, are you done with that book yet? And she keeps saying, <laughs> almost, almost. She's not almost done. She's halfway. Get a move on, girlfriend. All right. <laughs> well, tomorrow's a holiday, so hopefully nobody will bother me and I don't have to train. Because technically the person I trained, this last person, is technically on his own. Until he has to learn the emergency calls, which hopefully won't be for a while. Please, God, help me. So, anyway, that's where we're at. Um, so, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any additional um, mystery shows, mm -hmm. please put them in the comments below. I'm sure people would love to um, know about them and try them out. I know there are a lot more. There's certainly more that I watch as yeah. well. Um, but these were kind of my top um, ones that, you know, have affected me through my life as well as coincide with books that I love. Um, so again, I know there's a lot more and actually there is another show I'm going to leave you with this potting one that is not technically cozy, but I love it. It's been on for years and years and years. In fact, I believe it's still going. And that is Midsummer Murders. Yes. If you haven't tried it and you, you don't mind that it's not cozy, um, you will love it. You oh, no, will love dark, it. But I like it. It is darker. Um, it's not so gruesome that you see blood and gore, no. but it is darker. Um, so I would highly recommend that one as an aside um, to the cozy ones. So that's all I have. Yeah, me too. Huh? Me too. That's all you have? Obviously. <laughs> Since see, you pointed at all that out. She's owning it. I'm owning it. What did you say but to me yesterday? Really I don't know. What did you say to me yesterday? You got me all wound up yesterday. I got you wound up yesterday? Yeah, I can't remember what the You get yourself wound up. No, no. Yeah, no. you do. No, no. You do. We we have to try. Which time? Were we talking about when you're always hot and cold? And I and I said, yeah, that's the reason. Is no, that that's, just, that's just you want me to dig to Panama every day. Every day. <laughs> she wants me to dig to Panama. They if don't you get don't that know reference. what that reference is... <laughs> that this is kind of a Halloween funny movie and tradition. it's an aside it's a tradition we always watch it and it is called Arsenic and Old Lace yep. and so I'm not going to tell you about it because it's just a cute funny movie but in the movie there's digging to Panama um, and so when anybody acts up in the house this first thing I say is you don't want me digging to Panama <laughs> so anyway, until next time, I hope that you're all safe and I hope you're all loved. Bye. Bye.